Hey, you may want to check out my YouTube review of the Kubota with the AC cab and the video of the air filter change. It, the, both will give you some good information. I'll leave the links to each in the description below. First, I want to cover the dust issue, which is the main reason I got the cab Kubota. When I purchased my Kubota with the Curtis cab, it came like this with the opening to the steering control levers wide open, allowing a lot of dust to enter the cab. After I got an online manual, I realized it should have had these dust seals at the control levers, which cost me $189, but do keep out a lot of dust. But you will see it's still not dust free. Although the AC filter catches a lot of the dust inside the cab, I wanted to improve the dust quality. I installed an RV roof vent I purchased from Amazon. It's installed on the interior of the cab only with about one inch gap between the top of the fan and the Curtis cab roof, allowing the fan to circulate air on the inside and using two identical AC filters, uh, the fan catches now three times the dust of just the AC filter. To help with the heat, I added this 12 volt auto fan I got from Amazon and attached it to the AC filter cover. And for a thousand dollars, I got the windows tinted. And yes, it's dark. It's about 30%, I think. But as you can see here, uh, this is on a semi-cloudy day or a partly sunny day. And um, you can still see good on the outside, but it blocks a lot of the sun out. So just over $1,400 of uh, just simple improvements. I think I more than doubled the efficiency of the cooling and, and the dust-free environment, which makes it an enjoyable time to cut grass.